Flight computers are set up so they have an outer scale, a middle scale, and an inner scale. On the bottom, they normally have this key, which shows how to find your set ground speed given either distance or time. Notice how we have this little black triangle here. And this black triangle is the same one that we have here. So for an aircraft like a 172 with a ground speed of 100 knots, we would have to rotate so that the diamond is on top, correction, on the bottom of the 10 marks. Notice here. This 10 can be 10, it can be 1, it could be 1,000, it could really be whatever it, you want. But you have to keep in mind that for this example, it's going to be 100 and have an idea of what number you're expecting. So since we're going a distance of 20 miles, if we go back down to the scale, it says distance is on the outer scale. So we will look for the 20, which is right here. And that means under it, we're going to read our time, which is going to be 12 minutes. Notice distance is on the outer scale and time is on the inner scale. So now we don't have to change if our ground speed remains constant. We don't have to change the wheel at all. We just have to read for that different distance how long is it going to take us to get there. So now let's see how much time we would travel if we go at the same ground speed of 100 knots. And we can use the same thing that we have down here. So we went for let's say 10 minutes that means that the distance that we traveled was 16 to 17 miles. So now if we know how much time we have been flying and for how much distance, we can also calculate our ground speed. So if we've been flying for a total of 20 miles, and we'll look for the 20 here, and a time of 10 minutes, then we go up to the diamond and our ground speed is 120 knots. Now try this out yourself. Your ground speed is 130 knots. Your distance is 40 nautical miles. How long will it take us to get there? Now as you can see, our answer will be 18 minutes. Thanks again for watching guys. Don't forget to like us, subscribe, and also follow us on Instagram at the Aviator Channel.